Hello and welcome. My name is Kate Griffiths from Whole Self Leadership. And I'm inviting you to Colour with Kate, which is the time when I talk about the energies right now and what's happening so you can make sense of your own experiences. And I do this through colour. And I'm really excited today because I fi finally feel spring has sprung. And it might be because we had the spring equinox at the weekend. Could be all sorts of reasons for this. That feels significant. But I think there's another person that played a huge part in that, and that is Melissa Jolly, the founder of the Colour Mirror System. She called us in saying, did we want to come to a workshop? And we were in for a real treat. Last weekend, 75 of us got together, all working or interested in colour. So there was a very powerful energy. And between her and Catherine, they held the space beautifully. And amazing things started to happen. So what I'm talking about is something you may not have seen yet. It's a new spritzer that Melissa created specifically for this session. So the spritzer is this one. So when you look at that, how does it make you feel? What energy or emotions come up? And as I turn it, can you see the gold glimmery sheen in amongst the spring green? It's beautiful, isn't it? And in many respects, it reminds us of another bottle. Let me just get that for you now. The bottle I'm talking about is this one. How does that make you feel? I really love those colours. And again, it's almost like spring green. We call it olive green, but it's really more of a sort of lime green. And that bottle is called the Magician. And it is the time of the Magician right now because we are in the age of Aquarius. And it is the Magician, the power of the Magician that's going to bring together the polarizing forces that we see in our world. So most notably in sort of spirituality, at its extremes, you've got science on one side and magic on the other. You can see it in terms of the masculine on one side, the feminine on the other. And we need both combined to get the real sense of our full potential here on earth. So that is the promise in the bottle and also in that spritzer that I showed you which is truly amazing because it lasts for ages and it has this top note of fig oil in it. So it's absolutely scrummy and yummy and is definitely worth connecting with. And it's linked to another bottle because if we think about the complementary colors to that olive green or lime green, it's magenta. So you might think it's strange for me to show this bottle, which is the only black bottle in the system. But look really carefully, what colour can you see in it? As in fact, what we see is more of a, a red in it because there is no true black. It is a very, very deep magenta, which is reminding us that the light is in the darkness or as I think it was Melissa who said at the weekend, darkness and the light form a sacred circle. They are one and that's what we need to remember. There's no need to fear the darkness because death, in whatever way we look at it, death of the ego, death of the self, leads to rebirth. It's the phoenix coming out of the ashes. So whilst this bottle can seem terrifying. It's actually called illumination because it helps us see the truth around identity, around our identity, who we are. 
you know, we are nothing. The content, the concepts that we put on label ourselves with, that isn't real. There's something beyond all of that. And there's one other aspect I want to touch on with this bottle that I was reminded of this weekend. Because Melissa takes that bottle and she's looking at Ho'oponopono. And that black bottle is the first in a number of bottles for Ho'oponopono and it means I am sorry. And I love that because it's that recognition, it's like the Tawa in Sufism. Recognition that if we have doubted the perfection of the divine, you know, we might be doubting ourselves, but in fact we're saying, I don't believe that there's a plan. I don't believe everything is perfect and everything's going to work out. So even if someone has triggered you or said something that's opened up one of your wounds, at the heart of it, it's us that needs to ask for forgiveness, us that needs to say, I'm sorry, because we weren't able to get deep enough for the divine in me to see the divine in you. We put up a barrier in ourselves to love by getting triggered by what somebody said or did or both. So think about that, there's something really powerful there and in exploring that we can finally let go of any judgement of others by knowing what is our shit, our stuff and saying enough. It's all perfect even if I don't understand where it's going in this minute, in this moment. So that's my message for you this week. I hope you have a truly wonder-filled rest of your week. And please feel free to share this with your network. Like it. If you leave any comments, I'll leave you a comment back. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.